hey what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here of course welcome my name is Ariana also known as vinyl glitz and in today's video I will be redoing my entire craft room because I have moved so right now my craft room is in a bit of a wreck as you will see in the next clip so today's vlog is just going to be about me getting everything organized and getting things set up so I can open back my Etsy shops and get some orders out. So if you all would like to see how I decided to organize my craft room, just keep on watching. Now this is how the setup will be for now. I will maybe decide to go in and change the things and upgrade it and make it more aesthetic but as of right now I'm just working with the furniture that I have from my old craft room so if you haven't um, checked out my craft room tour of my previous craft room I will link it in the cards in the left or right whichever side and you will be able to check that video out so this craft room will be completely different slightly so I'm just going to be getting that together so just keep on watching and stay tuned to see how my craft room turns out okay so this is just the overview of what I'm working with I literally moved a few days ago so I'm still getting everything organized as you can see it's kind of a wreck and there is a bathroom over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this door and there's a closet over here so we'll walk in here so I can show you on the closet Here is the closet space, which is pretty a pretty big size. And actually, a fun fact about this room is that this room is actually the master's. Even though the room does look kind of small, the rooms in these apartments are slightly small. This is actually the master's, which is why the closet space is so big. But I decided to use this room as my craft room so that I can have more space. And also, just things just worked out better for me to use this as my craft room. So that's why you have a huge walk-in closet, which it will be great for storing things that I'm not going to be needing right offhand. So let's just jump right into it. We'll get this room together. Okay, you guys. So now I have all of the room pretty much straightened up. This is most likely not going to be the final setup, but this is what I have for now. So I'll just turn the camera so you all can see. So when you first walk in, I have my desk right here. Of course, the printer's not going to stay on the floor. I just have to get another table for my printer. And then over here, I have my fabric section as well as my thread. And then I have my heat press and tumbler press as well as my DCF printer. And this cart here is a bit of a disaster, so we'll get that organized later. And then over here I have my vinyl and Cricut and my sublimation printer as well as some cute storage. And these little things right here, they do have uh, letters for words so I'm going to put some words on there. And then over here I have my shipping supplies as well as my embroidery machine over here. And this door right here is a bathroom again as I mentioned before and then this area um, I'm not sure if this cart is going to stay here more than likely not but I have it here for now and this picture will go most likely right here and then on this wall I want to get um, another sign if you are familiar with my channel you notice in my previous videos I had the pink letters that said vinyl glitz I want to get that again so I just have to order another one because the one that I have is currently stuck on the wall at my mom's house. So I have to get a new one. But other than that, here is the overall setup of the room that I have for now. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and please look forward to my new videos coming in the future because I will be uploading more frequently. And I can't wait to see you all in my next upload. Bye!